So I'm starting off with Claren's last minute primer under my eyes. I'm just gonna, it's gonna help to get rid of any lines and to smooth everything under the eye area. And it helps, it's not the best product, but it helps. Now all the products, the list of the products you can find on my blog. This is a special BB cream that I've used, that I um, did and I'm going to do a video on it. And I like applying it with my fingers, just almost tapping it in, um, tapping it on because it just has a lot of wonderful products including a serum. So I'm just going to apply it with my fingers and dab, dab, dab and do two layers of it and it just gives you the most absolutely glowing radiant skin without spending all the money. I'll do a video on it, don't worry. Then I'm going to go in with my Armani Master Corrector in number one under my eyes. Just I don't have much as you can see but just a little bit. I really like this product a lot. It helps to brighten and um, get rid of all the um, dark signs that are under my eyes even though I don't have much. And just dab it with my fingers. Next step is I don't know because I'm looking for my next step. Oh yeah, this is the um, um, the foundation. Oh my gosh, I forgot the name. That Derma Blend. That's it. In the number 15 opal. I'm just gonna hide some imperfections, which I have many. I know you can't see them here, but I do have many. And and then I'm just. This is a, a Sigma. 217 brush similar to the 217 and it works great for blending this type of foundation that is very thick and cover and covers a lot. This is the Avon eye primer and it's a beautiful color and it just gives a nice base on your eye and uh, is full of wonderful things that are good for the eyelid area because um, it's part of the A new line. And like I said, I have a list of all of these products on my blog. You can see pictures on my Facebook page and I'll put the link in the bottom bar of my um, of this tutorial on Facebook. And um, so pictures on Facebook and any um, just um, <laughs> oh my God, this is tough to do. Any, the list of all the products are on my blog, including with some great pictures that I took um, for this tutorial, which is called Pink in the Afternoon, and I'm sure you will like the pictures that I took. This is the Dainty Doll Blush. I'm going to use it as a blush, uh, mostly all over the cheek area without any real um, importance to where the um, just like cheek is. and or the contouring, just all over. And this is the Samantha Chapman uh, Multitask Brush. I'm just gonna dab some. There is a bit of shimmer in this blush bronzer type. Um, this was given to me by Daisy Nation, and it's very nice. It's a blush kind of uh, contour color for blondes. This is the prettiest color ever, and it gives me a nice sheen to the cheek area. Then as contour, I'm using the Bourjois, it's a chocolate bronzer, um, with the Samantha Chapman, this is the blush brush, tapered. I'm just gonna kind of swipe it all over in, um, like, uh, around my nose, in the cheekbone area, on my temples, just to give me a kind of a warmer tone to the skin. Then I'm going to use the Lorac um, Luminizer. This is very luminous. I'm just going to put three drops of, on, uh, of this on my cheek bone area. And it doesn't matter that, you know, it's, there's a blush and stuff and it's powder. Just, I think it mixes better and it actually, the, sh the color shows way better. So just tap it in your cheekbones, on your cheekbones, and then a little bit on your nose and on the Cupid's bow. Then Gentle Light Powder by Clinique. I totally had forgotten about this. This is a Clinique brush, powder brush. Just gonna sweep it all over my face. 
and it does have some kind of shimmering um, particles in it and it just gives a really nice glow. Then Estee Lauder, the bronzer kind of blusher and it's more pinky with bronze so it's just going to warm my skin up and it's, I love this, I can use it every day and it goes with everything. This is the um, NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in white and this is a um, Yves Rocher um, eye brush, concealer pencil, brush, sorry. I'm just going to put it all on my eyelid and my brow bone and really like pack it on because we want it to be quite white so it makes our eyes stand out. Blend it and tap it in with your fingers. Then this is the Bobbi Brown Gel Eyeliner in Black. And the brush that I'm using is from Zoeva and it was given me to me by Frankie, Love to Love. I'm just going to line my upper waterline really well and go in between the lash line. See how pretty that is? That's the difference. Makes it make a big difference. And then you're going to line also a little bit uh, your lash line, not too much though. Then this is the, um, gosh I forgot, the palette, Sleek palette, Storm Sleek palette. I'm just going to go over it with that color and with this lighter pink one, go also over it on the very end of that line and it just gives you a nice kind of a glittery effect, shimmery glittery and just blend everything out with the 217 by MAC. This is tough to do. <laughs> um, yeah, so you also want to go back and take that little shimmery pinky color and just add some right over the black line that you did. It just gives a very luminous um, kind of wet effect. It's really pretty. Just a little bit. Looks like a, a drop of like crystal or something. And also that drop of crystal is really nice in the inner corner. Then this is the Clarins Eyebrow Pencil in Blonde, I think, 01. I usually don't do anything to my brows, but just to fill them in. Chanel Lash Curler. Excellent product. I love this. And then the mascara is the Armani Eyes to Kill Waterproof Mascara. This is such a nice mascara but is so extremely difficult to get off. Look at those lashes, beautiful. A bit too chunky for my taste but, and they don't come off all day. This is YSL number 17 pencil all over my lips to give a nice base. And finally the shade of this tutorial is Pink in the Afternoon by Revlon. I adore this lipstick color. It is so sweet and feminine. And that's it guys. That is my Pink in the Afternoon. And very pretty, very delicate colors. Um, I love it. I love it. So please make sure you check out my blog and the wonderful pictures that I took with my iPhone. I did what I could do. This is just me fixing my hair and showing you a little bit of the product. It's very pretty. And check out the pictures if you want to see pictures on my Facebook page. Thanks again, guys. See you, see you soon. Bye.